When I first came to Portugal, I never imagined that I cannot withdraw money from the first ATM that I see on the street. But let me give you a little bit of context. When we first came to Portugal, first time ever, we came to Lisbon and we had all our money, uh, a part of it cash and a part of it on a Revolut account. So then it wasn't a problem. But later on, when we made a Portuguese bank account, so we are not talking here about having a card in your own currency from your own country. No, we are talking about a Portuguese card. Then we find out that we cannot just use any ATM. We have to use a Multibanco ATM or we have to use an ATM only from our bank. Also, for even more context, the ATMs that we are going to talk about that you must absolutely stay away they are like the plague and you are going to see this phrase all over the internet because a lot of people got burned with these ATMs. So these famous ATMs that you have to stay away, they are present also in our country, in Romania. And guess what? When we are using them in Romania, we don't get charged. We don't pay any commission. So naturally, we didn't know about uh, this ATM, how they work other than in our country. So we thought they are safe. And when we came to Portugal, we tried to redraw money from this ATM thinking that they are safe. And we got lucky because Flavis reads everything. I think it's the lawyer in him. Everything that is written on the screen, he reads. So in the last moment, he somehow found out that uh, we had to pay a commission because you will see that uh, later on in the video about uh, what uh, appears on the screen and what uh, doesn't appear. And we canceled the transaction on the last minute. So we got lucky, literally lucky, but there are a lot of people who got burned with these ATMs. So the idea is be careful what ATM you use and you need the information in this video because uh, redrawing money in Portugal, it's not so easy as it seems. Welcome back, I'm Luisa. If you are new here, we are talking about moving to Portugal, retiring in Portugal, but I think most of it, I'm talking about the things that I don't like in Portugal. First, when I started this uh, channel, practically I started my channel with the things that I don't like about Portugal, about uh, if Portugal is the right country for everybody, and I got a lot of backlash for this. So I started making a more positive videos, but in the end, the reality is the reality, and not everything is all sweet and honey in Portugal, and there are a lot of things that don't really quite fit with the dreamy life that everybody um, is splashing around the internet. And quite recently I started receiving more and more positive comments about uh, the fact that I talk about uh, the, the dark side of Portugal. I even have a video that I'm calling like that uh, with a lot of backlash. And it's not about the dark side of Portugal, it's about the dark side of us because we are coming to Portugal with certain expectations. And um, of course, reading about what other people say and it doesn't help the fact that other people talk only positive things. But in the last couple of years, like uh, with uh, everything that's happening in our world, uh, people are started to get more real and they are talking also about uh, the less positive side of Portugal. So it's not about the negative things, it's more about the things that you wouldn't expect to be there because uh, you judge Portugal too quickly and this is the reality. The majority of the fault of the things that don't work out for us in Portugal, it's ours. But let's get back to the video about the ATMs and let's talk about uh, uh, how you can redraw money safely in Portugal and how you can bring money into Portugal and not uh, have so many issues with the cards, with the changing of currency because you are paying a lot of money and you don't have to pay a lot of money for that. And let's just start with the fact that you need cash in Portugal. So if you think that coming to Portugal you are going to be in one of those countries that uh, you don't need cash and you don't have this problem, you my friend are very wrong. Let me tell you a story when we went in vacation I think it was I think it was in Amsterdam so we were used to go in vacation on all sorts of countries like Spain Portugal I don't know Mediterranean countries 
uh, even Turkey, and we got uh, a kind of a lot of cash with us. We had uh, also money on card, but we had also a lot of cash. And guess what? In Amsterdam, if you don't have a card, with money on the card, you cannot buy even, a, I don't know, nothing. You cannot buy a ticket for a train. So we actually stood uh, and waiting for the train because uh, we were, uh, we had a hotel, uh, not really in Amsterdam, in a city nearby. And uh, we were waiting for the train to uh, get us into Amsterdam. And it was there an elderly couple who uh, have ma had money, but not the car to pay for the ticket. And we helped uh, him, help them uh, obtain uh, the tickets. They gave us the money cash and we paid with our cards for their tickets. So there are these kind of countries, but Portugal is not one of them. So you need cash in Portugal. Maybe if you are in Lisbon, you get around using your card mostly in Porto, in uh, certain areas in uh, Algarve. So if you are staying at a hotel, maybe going only on the touristy things, yes. But as soon as you start uh, uh, venturing yourself in um, areas that are not so touristy, you want to see the real face of Portugal, you want to see how the people live in more uh, not so touristy towns, there you need cash. I mean, yeah, at the supermarket you are going to use the card, but if you want to buy a souvenir or you want to buy something from a local or a local uh, shop, you will need the cash. So let's talk about now about the ATMs that you should absolutely stay away from, that are the plague, that are very misleading, that are uh, charging you money without even knowing about it. And of course you have heard of this, they are all over internet and these are the Euronet ATMs. The first thing that you should know about them is that they charge ridiculously high commissions and without putting them on the screen. So you think that because uh, they didn't put you on the screen a certain commission, you didn't pay. But if you uh, look at your bank account later on, maybe even one day or two days later, you will see there the commission and they are ridiculously high. You pay like eight or 10 euros for withdrawing 50 euros. So it's ridiculously high and they don't even tell you about it. And these ATMs are placed in the most convenient places, in airports, stations, uh, in touristy places, in hotels. You see these ATMs everywhere and you think they are safe because they are placed in these kind of places, right? If you see an ATM in a hotel, you think, okay, it's a four or five star hotel, it's safe, right? Well, no, you see these kind of ATMs all over the place and you don't see any other one, you think, well, I think these are the ATMs in Portugal. They must be safe. They are the only ones. Well, no. Actually, this happens in Albufeira. In Albufeira, you see these Euronet ATMs everywhere and you really have to look in order to find a multibanco ATM or a normal bank ATM. Another thing that they started to do is the, to place the Euronet uh, ATMs uh, along uh, side with a bank one, uh, not really disguising it because it's illegal, but kind of putting in the same place and you can get a little bit confused. Uh, maybe you go to the normal ATM, maybe by mistake, total, uh, total by uh, choice, uh, randomly meaning, and uh, you see that this ATM is in Portuguese and you see this other ATM right next to it. You move there, everything is in English, you understand. You go with that ATM because why not, right? If you don't know this information. And they charge this uh, insanely commission and you don't even know it because uh, when you are in vacation, right, it's easy to lose uh, 10 euros in uh, a lot of expenses you make uh, on vacation. So maybe uh, some of you withdraw money from these um, ATMs and uh, you just uh, didn't check your bank account, but it's there. Check and it will be there. So let's talk now about the multibanco ATMs and uh, bank ATMs, normal bank ATMs, and what you should do in order not to get, um, I don't know, not to pay 
certain commissions that you don't have to pay, right? But what is Multibanco? Multibanco is a system, an integrated system in Portugal. 27 banks are enrolled in this Multibanco system. That, so basically you have this um, ATM, which says Multibanco, and whichever um, card and whichever bank you use in Portugal, you can redraw money from this ATM and you don't have to find a specific ATM from your bank, right? So it's like a system, a one system named Multibanco, whichever Portuguese bank you have, you can redraw money from this ATM and you have the same conditions that you would have if you would found uh, an ATM from your bank. This Multibanco system is very advanced, is uh, perhaps the most advanced system in Europe and I think in the world because I know in the US the bank system is not that advanced and I don't know how it's in uh, other parts of the world, I don't know about Australia, but for sure in Europe it's the most advanced. The fact that uh, you just have to find one ATM and it's safe for all banks uh, that you are using, uh, the Portuguese banks, these 27 Portuguese banks that are enrolled in the system, it's, it's kind of a miracle. Well, not really right now, but when it appeared, it was kind of a miracle. And it's still the most uh, effective at performing bank, account, uh, bank system in Europe. Also at Multibanco, you can do a myriad of things. You can pay uh, your uh, phone contract, you can charge your um, Card. You have a prepaid card, you can do it at uh, Multibanco, you can pay for your um, highway, motorway at the Multibanco, uh, you can pay the your fines if you have fines and a lot of, lot of stuff you can acquire and pay uh, the bills, you can pay the bills, um, the Portuguese bills at Multibanco. So it's a system fought with uh, the people in mind, the Portuguese people and the people who are residing in Portugal. Uh, they are put uh, first in the system and the system is made for them to make their life easier. For once we are finding out that Portugal is making something <laughs> to make uh, their uh, people's life easier. Because as you know, the bureaucracy in Portugal, it's something. So what you need to do is find this Multibanco, this ATM uh, with the Multibanco inscription and you can redraw money from there and you will get charged only the commissions that your bank are charging. So nothing just because you are using this ATM, only what your bank is charging. But do you know that uh, you can uh, do something to optimize even the commissions that uh, your bank is charging or the um, exchange rate, you know, the money that you lose by exchanging from your currency into euro. And this uh, especially applying to the people who are coming uh, from US or UK, you know, the people who have their savings or their money in US or in uh, pounds or in other currency than euro. So what the uh, people do, and I absolutely don't understand why people are still doing this in 2022 when we have so much financial uh, instruments on our disposal and we can optimize our expenses but people just come with their cards from US or UK they put it on the ATM machine um, on the card they are their currency like pounds or US dollars and they are uh, asking for uh, from the ATM euros and they don't think or uh, they don't know how to optimize the cost the cost of the bank in US or UK or other countries and the exchange rate. There is a very simple method to do that. You need to open a, a bank account with Revolut or WISE or any other platform that you uh, see fit. Uh, Revolut and WISE are the most known and um, reputable uh, platforms in Europe. So I don't know, like uh, the younger people, uh, but not only younger people, like even myself, we are 40 years old, we are still young, yes. 
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but um, we cannot live without a Revolut uh, or a wise Revolut card or a wise uh, bank account. And I say bank account because both Revolut and I think Wise, but I know Revolut for sure, obtained their bank uh, license. So um, they are not like, it's not a danger to put your money there. You are not going to lose the money or uh, something like that. So. Um, you can uh, use this platform with total confidence. Of course, I don't keep my savings on Revolut, uh, not because um, they don't uh, insure your money, but just because, you know, Revolut is new comparing to the bank. So is this mentality, we don't really still have uh, faith in these platforms, but you can use these platforms when you are going into vacation or just transferring each and every month the money and keeping it in Revolut or WISE and paying with these accounts and these cards and um, saving a lot of money commissions and um, you are also saving a lot of money on uh, the exchange rate because Revolut and WISE they are famous for having very good exchange rates so good exchange rates that they are close to the uh, central bank for us it's central bank for me in my country in romania is national bank it's the bank that regulates and gives the exchange rate in your country so these rates are very close to that official exchange rate so you can see already that you are going to save a lot of money if you use uh, these uh, kind of cards. And also these cards are multi-currency cards, so you don't need a card for each currency like you would need on your regular bank. So you have one card and you can open from the application on your phone multiple um, accounts in uh, pounds, in euros, in US. So you, uh, this helps you to choose the moment when you exchange your money. So you don't have to move a lot of money in US currency on a Revolut and change it all at once. You can wait and change when you need the money. Another benefit of Revolut and Wise Card is that uh, if you transfer money from Europe in Europe, so SEPA transfers, you will have the money in seconds, seconds. So I transfer the money from uh, Romania to my bank account in Portugal in order to pay the expenses, the mortgage, the uh, things that I have to pay in Portugal for the apartment, the bills, and they arrive in seconds. Seconds, what do you want more? So if I sometimes forget to transfer money, I get my money in Portugal in the same day. Well, you cannot say this about your bank. And I'm not saying that these platforms don't have commissions, but because they have, they have commissions. You have to pay also when you redraw the money. You have to pay also when you make certain payments above a certain threshold. You have to pay commissions when you pay for certain things. When um, you exchange uh, from a currency to another, you have to acquire, you have to pay a certain uh, monthly fee in order to uh, have a more uh, good exchange rate, but these fees are not comparable to what you pay on your bank. If you want to know more about these, if you want to open a bank account, please use the link in my description. You would help me very much if you use my affiliate link in the description. Only if you want to open a bank account, you will still have to use a link. So rather than go to their site and use open there, just enter on their site through my uh, affiliate link and you help me keep this channel together and make videos for you. So if you want to open a WISE account, you get uh, the link in the description. Also check out Revolut, also check out other platforms because there are a lot, but these two are the most, uh, you know, known, used, reputable. Let's talk a little bit about the pins, the card pin in Portugal. In Portugal, the pin is six digits, so no four, as we are all accustomed to. But don't worry if the ATM asks you a six digit pin just in uh, put your regular four digit pin and you will be fine so i saw a lot of people freak out at the atms that uh, they didn't know how, what to put just put uh, your pin and press enter and you're going to be fine another thing i should mention is that atms in portugal have withdrawal limits 
so you just cannot redraw as much money as you want the redraw limit is 400 euros per day even if the limit is the 400 euros per day you will find a lot of atms that will not give you 400 euros in one scoop so the workaround uh, is that you have to redraw 200 euros and then ask for 200 more or just stay there and ask for 100 and 100 and 100 but 200 with 200 works best also another trick that you can do and i speak from absolutely my own experience is that in portugal because of the light the light in portugal is very very blinding very powerful it doesn't matter if you are in the winter or in the summer so um, the the light the sunlight uh, comes into the screens of the atm and you don't see anything there and if you have a lot of people waiting to redraw money uh, you might uh, get intimidated and push all the buttons and you know maybe got to the wrong ATM like Euronet ATM and you can get confused in all this commotion you don't see anything on the screen so my advice would be to find an ATM which is remote not on the main street on the touristy street of course if you are in a hurry this doesn't apply but if you can um, if you are for the first time on the atm in portugal try to find a more remote one and if there are other people there just wait for them to leave and make your all the operation quietly try to to make a little shade to see the screen listen what the atm is telling you sometimes it's speaking to you in portuguese sometimes you can change the language in english try also to listen in portuguese even if you don't know portuguese something you will understand because you know some some words you do understand and try to kind of make your atm experience more enjoyable by avoiding the crowds and the sun and things like that. If you have more tips and tricks about using the ATM in Portugal or you have your own experience with, with ATM, please leave it in the comments and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!